make it look like I actually kind of know what I'm doing, even though I doubt ever. Now let me bend the shit out of your fuel line. <laughs> Alrighty, good morning you guys. Hop into the Fox Body, go and drop some packages off. Thank you guys a bunch. You guys that support the merch really make this stuff happen, so I appreciate it. If you guys got hats, shirts, stickers, anything you guys want, you know, every little bit goes a long way, so I really do appreciate it. I'm gonna send these out so you guys have some stuff for the new year. The Heat Show guys are coming up today, and we're gonna do an install in the Galaxy, so I'm gonna go ahead and hop on the Fox, go grab some breakfast for them, drop these off, clean up around the house. It's a little bit dirty out in the backyard right now, a little bit more than I wanted. And it should be a fun day because we're gonna need a lot of cool product from the Galaxy to keep that thing cool. This thing sounds good today. Nice. I love this car. Hate it and love it at the same time. I got donuts. All right, guys, got the garage all cleaned up. Heat show guys should be here any minute, so that should be cool. When they show up, we'll kind of run through what we're gonna do. But yeah, got a nice clean workspace, got some donuts for the guys when they show up. That'll uh, make you hungry just looking at that, right? <laughs> so that'll be nice. And then uh, afterwards, once we're done, we're probably gonna start looking into doing some coilover mounts. We'll figure that stuff out. But it's nice to have a clean workspace. I don't have a lot of workspace, but I work with what I got, but uh, I make sure it's nice and clean so when we're working on everything, it'll be super easy to work with. But yeah, so we're gonna do a, a bunch of different things. I'll kind of catch you up to speed once the guys show up. This is not for a I old man. That's why I shaved today. Huh? Oh, you did? Yeah, so you can't see the gray in my yeah, beard. No, that's a good idea. You've missed a spot, though. <laughs> my head. Yeah. All right, guys, so we're gonna run through some of the products we're gonna go through on the car today. There's a lot of stuff that Heat Shield offers. We did an install on my F100, and I'll put a card up and down in the description if you guys wanna watch the install on the F100's engine. We did a bunch of stuff on it. We're gonna do a similar thing on the, on the Galaxy, but a little bit different. We're gonna do a little bit more underneath the car and in the back as well in the front, and everything's a little bit more custom on this car. But I did wanna go over all the products that they offer because there is a lot. So this is Chris and Shane from Heat Shield Products. So these are some of the products. There's a ton of stuff that you guys probably don't even know existed and we're gonna run through it today on how you can keep your car cool. So we're just kinda of gonna start from left to right and go over some of the product that's gonna go on the car today. So I guess kinda of pick whichever one you wanna start on and run through a little bit about it. I have to say hands down probably our most popular product is our hot rod sleeve. And the reason is, is because ease of use on this, you can slip it over a fuel line, you can put it over hoses, you can put it over wires, and it's really easy to do. We do sell it, it comes with some shrinks inside, it comes with a sticker, but basically what this is, is a sleeve. It will take up to 1100 degrees constant. So it is really good, like on your car, when it's gonna go down through by the exhaust, when yes. it's gonna go by the header. It is going to protect it much more than say a tape yep. or any sort of Thing you can try to think of that you're gonna buy at Home Depot. Yeah, so, oh yeah, that was the biggest thing I noticed too. Save yourself some time. Yep, yeah, and you have the kits, so you can have just a regular sleeve versus the actual kits. So this is longer, more of it. Actually. Or more of an install kit. This is, we call it the HP kit, the builder's kit, because this is what we sell specifically for fuel lines. It is a 5 8 The hot rod sleeve comes in a bunch of different sizes. Six feet with this. 10 feet with the rest of these. Those, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, right. so we do quarter all the way up to one, and we actually have one and a quarter and one and a half that just launched at the end of the year. Okay, got it, awesome. So there's a little bit of something for everybody there, for sure. And what's the, high, the, the smallest size to the largest size in diameter? Quarter, all the way up to one and a half. Wow, okay, yeah. so you could do a lot of stuff with you that. You could though. do a lot of stuff, yeah. I mean, and one you, and a and half. you can get it in 100 foot rolls if you need it. You can and buy it in 100 foot rolls. Really? Okay, yeah. and before I go too far, where can everybody find some of this stuff? Uh, you go to our website, okay. uh, it's heatshieldproducts.com, uh -huh. and from the website you can go to the buy tab, you can just drop that down, you can buy it directly online, we have a bunch of different distributors, Okay. New Level Motorsports, if you live in San Diego is a great one in Poway, Okay. Uh, or Summit Racing is another one, Okay. from there you can also find some brick and mortar stores as well, yeah. if they carry it. So. Okay, cool. I'll have links to everything in the description and all the part numbers and products and stuff that we have here. So we'll have everything in the description for you guys if you want to check it out. So, and I guess moving a little bit to the side, we have some yeah. stealth sleeve stuff. So this is similar to this, but instead of a tube, we can actually wrap this around whatever we're going to yeah. put it on. If you're looking to shield your fuel line, wires, hoses, and you do not want to take them off, this has your name written all over oh, it yeah. because it is a Velcro. Hook and loop. Hook and loop. Oh, thank you. Yeah. 
So th what this is, is basically the thing goes in there, whatever you're trying to protect. Yep. And you're gonna cover this. The most important thing to remember is the Velcro is a high temperature Velcro, but it only take about 250, 300 degrees. So if the heat source is here, you're gonna roll it away from it and just the yeah, fabric. the hook and loop away from it. Oh, okay, yep. cool. Oh, this totally. is the stealth shield, yeah. but we also have it in the lava color too, but we know you're kind of into the black <laughs> color, so we brought black. Nice, I like it. Cool, and what are the, the smallest to largest sizes on these? Half inch, half inch, all the way on the automotive side, it's one and a half. Okay, one and a half. But yeah. we do make bigger ones on the heavy duty side. Okay, cool. And if anybody had a question about that, they can just, you can email me. Yeah. It's Chris yeah, us at heatshieldproducts.com. There you it's go. It's very easy. Perfect, got it. So this is all pretty much stealth sleeve stuff in different yep. sizes, shapes and whatnot. Yep. And I will oh, tell yeah. you that it, length. Oh yeah, length. It comes from six inch all the way up to uh, six foot. Okay, cool, perfect, that works. And then the master cylinder, everything in that engine bay over there is very hot and tight up towards the top, the heat rises. So a problem we're definitely gonna run into is the master cylinder. So these are really cool. They kind of just wrap around, right? Mm -hmm. It's normally with a Velcro closure or we have it with a wire closure and some button head rivets. The one thing to remember here is we do make specific sizes for specific things, but in your case, we're gonna it's pretty basic, so we're going to try the Willwood one at first and okay. see how that works so out. So you guys yeah. make them factory to fit different mm -hmm. master cylinders? Yeah, we yeah. have a, a Bear, a Willwood, and a, a GM. Okay. Like a GM stock one, right? Yep. And then we have uh, the spark plug boots. So I'm going to do this because this is the insole boot. We still sell it. We still sell a lot of these. Basically what it's going to do, it's going to cover ends of the spark plug boots as they go into spark plug near the exhaust but the one thing is with these is that it does allow some heat to come in yeah so if you have an extremely hot engine heat is still going to penetrate there we recommend that you actually close the end of these with a like a wire tie or even a like a stainless steel zip tie thing oh, okay but this last year we did come out with a pro boot you can see it fits right over the boot but the difference here is high temperature hook and loop. The wire is gonna go in there and basically close around it and not allow heat to get inside the boot. Oh, yeah, you don't okay. wanna get trapped in there. Yeah, okay, interesting, I like that. So again, this comes in stealth and the lava color, but we thought you'd like black. So I like it, wow. We'll go with black, but comes in twos and eights. Okay. Yeah, two packs and eight packs. Yeah. Oh, okay, sweet. So if you got a Viper, buy a eight pack and a two pack. Two pack, there you go, yeah. perfect, awesome. Well, there's a lot of stuff here and even more so, you have a bunch of different uh, adhesive wraps and things that you can put on the this floor and firewall. Yeah, this is this is like the minuscule little yeah. bits. There's Tip yeah. of the all answer, sorts yeah. of stuff, yeah. So if you guys are looking for any sort of different product or thing that inside your engine bay, you got firewall wrap, all sorts of stuff for the insides of the car, outside of the car, underneath it, wherever. Exhaust wrap is it everything you can imagine to keep heat down in a car, they offer. So I'll check it out, Heat Shield Products. I'll put the link down in the description. Definitely go and check it out. I run all this stuff on my truck and I definitely notice a difference. We were noticing on the F100 that has that fuel line right up front. And when I drove it to your guys' facility, you were like, wow, that's really hot. Yeah, put the right. sleeve on it, instantly fix those temperatures. Yeah. So and, and the truth of the matter is, is that for us, yes you'll see like it's all sewn and it's it's really like high-end stuff oh yeah but we're car people yeah so yeah. i'm not gonna make something that's difficult to go put on that you're gonna have to take to a shop yeah, yeah. the whole premise behind heat shield products is it's all, we want all to, diy friendly diy yeah. friendly we want you to be able to work on your car yeah and have a good time with doing it and mm -hmm. Yeah. Being functional. Yep. For instance, you. It's got to work. Cool, right? Oh, yeah. So, it's got to work. And it definitely does. At. It works great. So, we're going to go ahead and we're going to start putting this stuff on the car. Show you guys how it all comes out. He says he climbs up through here. There's no way I'll fit through that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is not working. Just suck in a little bit. <gasps> oh, I ain't really stuck. To knock the car off the jack. Scalpel. <laughs> Getting all the angles. Here, let me bend this out of your fuel line. <laughs> Uh, Craig, your carburetor's not on. No, it isn't. Actually, just take the whole carburetor off. Just mocked it up. Lift the Sh whole thing. Should I tell him now that he can just pick it up and take it off? Yeah, he probably can't lift it up though and get out at the same time. No, definitely not. <laughs> oh, that's know, definitely that's not happening. That's some high grade service, man. You can charge a lot of money for this. <laughs> <laughs> so you don't need a lift or a shop. No, you don't. You just suck in and get in there, and it's easy. My rib cage was stuck right on that. <laughs> it's better than a corset. You just lean on the engine. Yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah, so the way this works is if you kind of push it, it, it gets a little wider, sort of like a Chinese handcuff. See how it's bubbling out? Oh, yeah. So that's how you'd go over something if it's a little bigger. Oh, yeah, yeah. So I... Oh, learning yeah. a new surge of coronavirus cases. Good thing you're not at school in Chicago, bud. Put stuff in my car and they clean my yard for me. So Shut up. Gas when I need it. He said don't manhandle them. Look at his position. Right, I'm Very nicely braced. Yeah. Good thing it's all brand new, no feel anywhere. Yeah, it's, uh, I'll I'll left it in manual focus, I'm sorry Andrew. Got our handy dandy fancy stuff. I think that works. So when this thing has a random fuel leak and I have to pull it all apart, I'll have to redo it all, but it looks pretty dang good. It's right here, couldn't get it on, so I wrapped a piece of tape because this is all frayed because I've messed with it so much now. So you put a piece of tape on it and wrap it all tight and then slip the tube over this and then peel the tape off and then I can run this back down on it like, and then I can shrink that up and it'll look all good. And I'm running these little McMaster car isolators right here. So I'll screw that in, that holds it there. And I'm gonna put a little bend in it and then run it to the fuel pump. But a hot rod sleeve goes all the way up and over. It looks pretty dang good. So that's been fun to run. But uh, it's in. So we're gonna have our exhaust go right over this. So I wanna make sure it's all covered and doesn't get too hot. So nice. Pipe kidding. Oh, I shouldn't have cut that. Just kidding. Good enough. Time to use a heat gun on that. And then run a rubber piece. Oh, this video is gonna be completely different than the ones you normally do. Probably. The heat shield guys are filming. Make sure, ma Andrew better make this video good. Nice and meme -y. All the memes. I gotta make sure, I gotta make myself look like a semi-professional sometimes. <clears throat> make it look like I actually kind of know what I'm doing, even though I doubt, ever. Perfect. I think that'll work. No kinks. A little bit of a harsh bend, but I think it'll be right. Might want to do some of that Velcro stuff right here. I'm uh, looking at it. We absolutely. I think that would be good right there. Put a clamp there, clamp there. This is already good. Done and done. I'm gonna do this one right here. Perfect. Out of the tank, into the pump, up towards the front of the car. Everything's all heat wrapped. Might do a piece of Velcro right here to here because for the exhaust. And I'll call that good enough. I still gotta weld everything. All right, so we got our fuel pump piece in there. You can see it all goes pretty much from the fuel pump all the way back. It's gonna, or all the way to the front. That's gonna look really good and it's gonna be functional. So that little arc right there, the exhaust is gonna come right through this. So I wanted to make sure it's all protected and the fuel doesn't wanna boil over at any certain point. And then, uh, so now we have this guy, which is gonna go over the master cylinder. Now this is always like the coolest looking piece. It just makes it look so much race car-y. I like that. I think that's probably the easiest thing to put on besides the, what was it, the lava shield? Stealth shield. Or you can just grab it, wrap it around, and that's all it is to it, huh? Yeah, super and so, easy. I like that, that's awesome. And then we have these guys, which are, which ones are these? These are the- Pro boot. The pro boot. Okay, so these are the ones that you push down at the end and they have a little Velcro piece on the top here. That you just squish it closed and then we'll pop these guys on. They'll be down there like that, look all pretty. Nice, sweet dude, badass. Thank you guys. You got it. This is looking awesome. This is gonna come together. Hopefully we can have this thing running in a, a week or so. We're gonna have to go watch these guys' video installing and everything and going over. We actually did a video going over all of my little car collection of stuff I've got. So if you guys are curious and wanna walk around of all my projects and everything about them, I'll leave that link down below. But check out Heat Shield Products' YouTube channel. They got a lot of cool videos. You can actually watch the full install on my truck as well. But uh, yeah, with that being said, we're gonna go in the backyard, tidy up a couple other things. I think that'll do it for this video. <laughs>
All right, guys, we're about finished up on the Galaxy for today. I'm pretty stoked with the progress. Looks really, really good. Really promising to see that the engine bay and everything in here looks really good. And all I need to do is wire some stuff up and then it should run. You know, I got to throw the radiator back in it, which will only take me about an hour and then everything will work the way it should. I loomed up the spark plug wires. A little trick you guys probably know already. Uh, you can use some, uh, some zip ties. You throw one around the all four of them and then just put one in between each and then you flip them around the bottom. They look really pretty. They look good from the top. So did that on all those, limbed them all up all nice. You look from the top, they look symmetrical from each side. And it also matters how you wire them through each other because you want them to be perfectly in line as soon as you can. So it's kind of why some go around to each other in weird ways. Then I have the, the coil one coming off here and then it kind of splits off and I even have a little zip tied down there on the bottom to hold these two guys together and then they're two separate looms over there. Uh, so that looks pretty good, pretty happy with that. And then I like the fuel line in the back, you guys already saw that. So super happy the way this looks, the paint in the engine bay still looks really, really good. Um, and I think this thing's coming along really, really good. All right, guys, I hope you went on to enjoy today's video. If you did, leave a like on this video. It would really mean a lot to me. Let me know you think down in the comments below. Be sure to check out Heat Shield products. They have a wide range of products, a lot more than what we just showed here. That's just the tip of the iceberg with those guys. They have all sorts of stuff that you can possibly imagine to get your ride running safely. So thanks a bunch to the guys at Heat Shield for coming out and making this happen. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.